Hello and welcome to the first ever playing of Spelunky Let's Play by Rowan Kaiser. Uh, I am the author of Possibility Space, an upcoming analysis of Mass Effect, and those are the only Let's Plays I've done so far. I thought it would be fun to do a Let's Play of my first ever time playing Spelunky, since that seems to be fairly popular for this kind of stuff on the internet. Now, uh, technically this isn't my first ever time. I played the original version for free download three or four years ago for like ten minutes. I didn't really like it that much, but I'm giving it another try. Who needs options? Oh, I already have choices. I like that guy's mutton chops. Nice bit of casual racism at the start, but I suppose this is what it's going for. Tutorial. You didn't sign up for tutorial. Didn't tell me not to jump into the snake, but I'm going to assume that you don't want to jump into the snakes. I feel like a master already. People say this shit is hard. blood effects. Alright. Guess it's getting a little more complicated. But I am getting that gold. Because what else am I here for? That's my cat knocking things over, in case you heard a little jingle. Hey, it's an attack. You can whip chests open. hungry enough. Um, so I typically... Oops. I'm 
pressing the Y button and I am not grappling. I guess I need to get the grapple, which is here. That makes sense. So I typically like roguelikes, but I'm not necessarily good enough at them to, uh... uh really stick with them for long when they're the action sort. I'm a very... very partial to lower paced role playing ones. FTL is one of my favorite games of the last few years. Um, I like the concept, but at times they can be annoyingly difficult. Ooh. That's a useful thing. Oh dear. I guess I have enough bombs to do this. I know that hoarding bombs is a spelunky thing you're supposed to do, but this is the tutorial, so, you know. Killing snakes with rocks. I think I'm good, Kevin. Thanks. Spikes with bombs. Uh, or that, whatever that was. That was my first ever Spelunky death, and I have no idea what happened. I think I got killed by a ricochet. Regardless, first ever Spelunky death. Tell your kids... ...that you saw... Oops. <laughs> well, that's not creepy.
Um, yeah, this is, uh, weird. Okay. Now it's time for my first ever real Spunky run. Suspicious beginning. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Keep doing it, I guess. Spiders. use a bomb to get through. Yeah. I can get that creepy ass kiss. I guess I'm dead. Well that was exciting. I should learn to look for traps and stuff. There's got to be some trick to not having that happen constantly. Now there's a cape. Now this music's calmer, so I should be able to deal with it. That looks like a trappy thing. Thank you, damn soul. You took an arrow for me. This game does not get less creepy. She's really useful. probably wrong. But 
spider webs are annoying. thing. and there's a ghost. So Spelunky is exciting. I don't know where the exit is and there's a ghost. Hooray! Soon, gentle reader, you'll have the chance to see my first ever completion of a level in Spelunky. That trap. I guess I'm bombing shit. <laughs> Good one, Rowan. Way to hurt your gold. You can kind of see how this game has its popularity. The of having to decide where the best place to bomb might be is. It's a good little strategic element. Your character appears to be the proper amount of weak. Just strong enough to keep things interesting. But definitely not an action game. As if you need my review of Spelunky. Ah yes, this game that's become super popular across all kinds of streaming and social media is. Needs Rowan's seal of approval. Next I'll tell you whether Dark Souls is worth playing. This is the first time I got hit. Look at me go. Ah, I really have to watch for that. Huzzah! <laughs> okay, those arrows move really fast. And then the spike. Okay. So that was an exciting uh, way to die. Alright, little mouse, let's see what we can do with you. That was a good job of me paying attention. I might end up being bad at this game because paying attention to the details like that is uh, not exactly what I'm good at in games. I'm good at making fairly clear things work out. 
I'm good at being good, I'm not good at being perfect. I'm good at being good enough. But you know, I could I could see myself getting into this. I could see being a spelunker. These bombs here if I want to survive. Help the skeletons. Are evil. Oh, god damn it. Well, thank you, damsel. game that I really like along the uh, procedural death labyrinth lines is Nuclear Throne, but I'm really not good enough at that game. So I'll play for 15 minutes, think it's awesome, and then not play it again for a week. This game seems to be a little better, better paced for that. Not quite so action-oriented. So... Hey, a new kind of spider. Oh, shit. That was indeed the biggest spider I've ever seen in this game. Alright, I think... Let's try one or two more of these. I think I've got the gist of Spelunky as an intro. Ow. I don't think I'm getting up there. Oh. Hey there. You don't look like you're in good shape. Fine, she's fine, everyone. I feel like I should try to remember that I have ropes and make better use of them. I don't seem to be using them very often. It's the bombs, I can see very obvious uses for them. Oh crap. Sorry, darling. See, there's a good use for a rope. Why are the other ones going up and not down? Oh, hey! <laughs> Why did I apologize to her? I gave her what she wanted. Nuclear Throne also doesn't seem to have the procedural elements like that. Just random... ...cool crap happening. There's no particular reason for me to compare this to Nuclear Throne other than that. It's the last uh, rogue like 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 that I have spent much time with. I really should give Risk of Rain more time, but I feel like that game would kind of destroy any semblance of free time that I should be using for my. Uh, NBA 2K13 habit. Did I destroy gold? That's horrifying. Oh 
here. <laughs> Probably should cast a bomb down in there. Uh. You're stuck. Well, that's adorable. I definitely feel like I'm probably being too liberal with my bombs when I could go back up, but I'm more interested in getting through this than getting everything right because it's not like I've lived long enough to have run out of bombs yet. expert could tell me whether this jump was possible. It sure as hell does not look like it's possible, so... I just wasted a rope and lost a heart trying to get the damsel I could not get. There's a metaphor in that... in that somewhere. It's probably misandry. That looks like a fun thing to know about. I was right. Got its own journal entry and everything. My first ever shopkeeper. should not have survived that, but... Maybe I'll do a Let's Play of that NBA 2K13, because... You're probably wondering, why do I play NBA 2K13? Why not 14? Uh-oh. Wrong button. <laughs> you know, as far as ways to die go, I think that was pretty alright. Alright, so, this concludes my uh, first ever Splunky game. Um... Yeah, I'll put information about me and uh, the Possibility Space project in the information, but this was pretty much just for fun. So, I'm Rowan Kaiser, I am signing out as Blunky and stopping my stream, and uh, I hope you enjoyed me getting blown up and crushed by rocks. <laughs>